So right now I'm working on getting so that the the foil bubble wrap is easy to put on when we stop and works well. So what I've done is um, right here on the door, I've put Velcro in here. And then I got another spot there. And of course the Velcro is on the bubble wrap. So that when we get there, I'm gonna easily be able to just put this in place like so, so that the everything bubble wraps nicely. I might add some more um, Velcro in the center here. And then I've also done so far these windows, the pop-out windows. Um, again, I've got uh, the Velcro pieces and then the Velcro on here with the bottom so that it'll just slide in. Helps if you do it the right way. Like so. The reason I have these flaps so long is that um, for a little bit more privacy, I think that if I was to cut them off um, a little shorter, that people can kind of see in. So that's part of what I'm doing to get the van ready. I know this is a really bad video, but I want to get something up to show. And then I've got the cages, I've got six cages, and then right now it's a disaster. But we also have the bunk bed, and this bunk bed also converts into a couch. And then I also have a solar panel, a 200-watt solar panel back there. And I also have my um, Yeti 1000 battery um, that works pretty good. It'll do 1,500 watts um, normal pull up to 3,000 watts peak. So it works pretty well. And then back there I have my... Um, porta potty if I need to use it. So I'm still organizing a bit. Before I was using like curtain rods to hold the bubble wrap in place and then I have the gap there so when I'm driving I can see and when we stop I push it back but I'll be doing the velcro there too. So this is the cage. It fits in nice for um, pooping and peeing the dogs. I can just throw it out the door and throw all the dogs in one at a time or two at a time from the cages and then back in. So hopefully I'll be getting this fixed up a little bit better, but just a little sample of our camper van.